Okay, so a couple people have been asking me how I make my icons like this. It's actually pretty simple. Um, I will actually, I don't have all the them done. So what I'll do is I'll work on one with you guys. So, um, first you're going to go on Google. Let's go to Google. Type in BFB polypons. Oops. Icons. Then what you want to do is hit images and then select the one you want to use. What I'm going to be using is any of them. But go ahead and click it, I guess. And then hit that and hit save image as and then hit done. Um, I'm not going to save it. Because I already have enough. I already have enough. Anyways, you can go into here then. Upload that. By hitting, by hovering over, choose a sprite. Hold on. By the way, this only works on Scratch. Only works on Scratch. It's up here. Um, you can hover over that. Then go up. And hit upload sprite. And then what you want to do where that's at hit your reference I'm gonna use whatever one but just for an example I'm gonna upload golf ball now don't do this it's because I already have every voting icon so what you're gonna do is choose your object that you're wanna you wanna kinda do it with right now I'm probably gonna do I'm probably going to do uh, probably one that can show you all. I'll do M. Okay, so what you're going to do is kind of get the box. Choose yours however you want. Like, I do the uh, references for the backgrounds. You do it however you want. Um, I'm going to use avocado for my reference. So what you're going to do, hit copy, hit paste, and then kind of reshape it with your cursor. Shape it to the way you want it. And to get this, like, a uh, square, to get this square, you're going to have to hit the square tool. Um, you can hear where he says, where it says outline, hit the up button a couple of times, it doesn't matter how much, and then you're going to do this, make a, make a square, and then with that, you're going to click the fill, and you see this line right here, click that, that makes it so there's no filling in that shape. Okay, so I already have mine ready. And for yours, I don't have mine the color that I want it. So what you're going to do, hit outline. And then, hit the eyedropper tool. And then select the color that you want. Kind of make it a little bit darker. So you can see it from the rest of the icon. Alright. Then, what you want to do... So use the select tool and kind of shape it how you kind of want. I'm not really going to be doing it how avocado looks like. Just kind of going to be doing it like this. Now this is kind of crucial. It doesn't fit. So what I'm going to do is come over to here. here. Actually, no. I'm not going to make a new sprite. Hold on. I'm going to use probably the eraser tool. Reshape it a little bit. Because that was kind of big. Um, I don't know. Does shift do that stuff? No, okay, it doesn't go straight. Um, actually never really done this with a vector. Okay. So, kind of erase it how you want. F 
frick. Um. Okay, so what I like to do is I like to go into bitmap. Here, let's let's make a new sprite actually. Hit copy, copy your sprite. Hit the paint tool. What you're gonna want to do is then get that box again. Oh boy, this is gonna be a bad tutorial. Um, get that box, and what you're gonna want to do, or draw a line on it, I guess. Make it so it's like a line. Then what you're gonna want to do is convert that to bitmap. And then select that half and delete it. Make sure you like it how you want it. That's going to be my style. Then we're going to head over to here. Um, paste that. Kind of got to move it over a little bit. And that is my M, his pose. So what you're what you're gonna want to do next? Um, make sure. Sorry, my microphone is in the way. Um. So then, what you're gonna want to do next is then delete that. Make sure you have like a copy of all your assets, so you don't have to. Excuse me. So you don't have to remake them all. After that. You want to grab the line tool to make the face. Make sure it's black. I would do about one size up when you did the uh, outline of the box. So what I'm going to kind of do is kind of do that. Just make a line. And then you, I'm going to do it for the other side a little bit. Because he kind of ha has a weird face. And then what you're going to want to do is hit the circle icon. Click fill and make sure it has black in the in the fill. What you're going to want to do is not make a circle like this. I don't want a circle like that. You kind of want it kind of squished like that. Then move that. And then move this over here. And then for the arms and legs. Why well, can't I can't make a mouth, but I'm just kinda gonna just do that. For the arms and legs, I'm just gonna or for the uh, he doesn't have arms. But if I were to make an arm, here's how how I would do it. So if I wanna make it curved, per se. Put the arm where it is attached to, then put it where it's gonna put the other end where it's gonna also go. Then what you're going to do is hit the select or reshape tool. Click that. And then what you're going to want to do is select it. And then kind of click the middle. Now it looks like it's curved. But now it looks like it has an elbow. I can fix that. Hit this little diamond. You can zoom in. Hit this little diamond. And kind of pull it out a little bit. Pull this one out a little bit. That makes it so it's not that it's not it's less pointy. And then if you kinda wanted to do I don't know like a fist. Make a circle. Kinda do it so it kinda blends in. Alright. Alright, so I'm not doing an arm. Because M doesn't have arms. Okay. So you, you want to make sure like everything is behind the border. So kind of like make everything, make the border go to the front. And for the positions, you can make your positions go to, f to the front or back by hitting these arrows, these four arrows at the top. So backwards makes it go backwards so you can, can't really see it. Forwards makes it go so you can see it better. Um... For that, that is the pose. I don't know if this is going to be an official icon I'm going to make, but... Now, the moment you've been waiting for. The background. Now, the background, you can just trace it over. But, make sure the squares don't have an outline. What you're going to want to do... 
make a square and kind of make it so it's yellow enough. Don't make it like, don't make it the same color as the body or the outline. That's a rookie mistake. Um, so where this corner is, do that and then go to the other side. Then use the reshape tool. We'll put that all the way back. Use the reshape tool to then make it kind of curved or how you want to do it. However, however your design wants to be. Then you kind of just do different shades. The different shades helps by giving it more, by giving it to stand out more. So I'm going to kind of make this a bit more yellow bit lighter and then I'm gonna do it again do that with all the other squares corner to the other corner that I wanted to go reshape it reshape it now if you don't want a corner delete it click it and then delete it and then make it again And if you want it pointy or curved, you can use these two two tools up here. It's your icon, so do it however you want. Uh, let's make this one a bit brighter. A bit more yellow. So we'll do this. I'm just going to do that, just for the sake. Uh, and it can be all kind of messy as long as it, as long as it's in the right order that you want it in. It doesn't look messy then. See if you put it back and then make it go forward. It looks a bit better. And then for this last two, I'm probably just going to make them a bit brighter. Um, do that, this. See, like, I'm just making this one a triangle and then have putting it, like, a little curve. Putting that to the back. Now, it's not going to look perfect. So, that's why you kind of got to do it how you want it to do. Or do it, make it how you want it to look. Alright? Then, for just probably the rest, I'm probably just going to do a lighter, kind of darker yellow. Make that go to the back. Bring my reference, oh, bring my reference out the way. And there you go. But, problem is, the background is too similar to the, there. Now you have your icon, make them however you want. Like I said, you can just do it with random shapes like lip gloss, lip, lip gloss. I did her with just random shapes, random shapes, same thing with wand, went random shapes. Uh, metal, did her with random shapes. So, yeah, kind of like, this was kind of like how to do the limbs or how to make the icon in general. Um, so yeah, if you need any more help with these icons, put a um, comment down, and I'll see you next time. Peace.